Hey guys, what is going on? This is Pants R Dragon, and today we'll be doing a little video on the new OP, which is gonna be Tank Swain. So in this patch, Swain has received some buffs to his R, where basically now he's healing for a flat number instead of having like spell vamp. So now he can spell vamp off tanks and is becoming invulnerable in team fights, like literally invulnerable if he just builds a pure tank and has his R on. And also, his win rate this patch has spiked to the number one spot, and I can honestly say that he's pretty fucking god tier. I mean, I feel like this clip says a lot in terms of how powerful he can actually be. Since I'm literally like 1v3ing, and you'll see later in this clip that I go in 1v5 and tank for a really long time. But anyways, with all that being said, let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to be talking about many reasons why he's kind of OP right now. So first off, I think people are starting to finally max out Q first. And apparently before this patch, people were maxing out E. But then in the patch notes, they said you should max out Q. So that's what people are doing now. And as previously stated in my intro, he can now drain easily off tanks instead of having mitigated returns when he tries to use his R on them. And so now his healing is very consistent, and he doesn't necessarily need to do damage to be healing a lot on him. And also the base numbers on his ultimate are really high already, so building AP is definitely good but you don't really need to anymore. As you can see here, the base healing versus AP ratio is pretty far off. Like if you want an extra 15 healing, you're going to have to build around 120 AP. And 120 AP is pretty expensive. So that's why you just stick with just building tank. And when you turn your R on, you turn into a god who basically cannot be smited. Unless they have grievous wounds, but pray to god that they are noobs, and they won't get something like that. But honestly, from what I've seen, you'll still probably be really tanky. Also, tanks are usually people who have CC, and you know Swain does have CC with his Q and W. W is actually really nice because it roots people for 2 seconds, so it's definitely really rewarding when you hit your W. And he also does quite a bit of damage since I think his base damage is pretty good, so you don't have to worry about dealing no damage in teamfights. And one of the biggest emphasis I have to make on Swain on why he's really good right now is because of the Rod of Ages. The synergy with Swain is super godlike similar to Rise, as what Rod of Ages does now is when you take damage, you gain mana, and when you use mana, you gain hit point. So that is absolutely perfect for someone like Swain. Especially when you have something like a Spirit Visage, that's, that's even better. Alright, so we're done explaining why Swain is OP. We're going to be getting on to the best part, which is the build for Tank Swain. So talking about the item build first, basically you want to get your Rod of Ages as soon as possible, and then finish your Spirit Visage. These are the two core items that will make Swain into a god, so yeah, try and get them as soon as possible. And then everything is essentially just tanky after. And then the Guardian Angel is just something to add if you just want to be a little bit more ass cancer. Now, for situational items, it looks something like this. Like, Thornmail if the enemy has like a lot of AD carries, Zonia's if you need more armor, Leandri's if you want to do more damage, since you have a lot of CC anyways, Banshee's Veil if you need more MR, or Riley's Crystal Scepter. Although, I don't really like it too much because your Q and W, it doesn't really have too much effect on those two spells. But if you do need more stickiness, then maybe you can get it as like a last item or something. For runes, it is armor per level yellows and magic resist per level blues because you want to be as tanky as possible. Hit point per level doesn't really do anything for Swain, because you already have so much hit point coming from your R, and then just the basic AP page. And for Masteries, you guys are probably looking at the Bond of Stone kind of weirdly, it's just for like damage reduction later in team fights. and I bet you guys are wondering why don't you take Deathfire Touch? You can do it honestly if you want, it's good for the laning phase, but after the laning phase, since you're not building a lot of AP, it'll kind of fall off, but it does definitely help in the early game. And now you guys are probably wondering why do you have Ghost instead of Flash? That's because it's my preference and my new meta. You guys can go Flash if you want, but I'm definitely a Ghost Horror at the moment. Alright, so that's enough talking about the build. Let's talk about something like tips and tricks with Swain. Alright, so tip number one. You want to put your Q ahead of the enemy or wherever you think he's going to go. This way you get more damage and slow because they got to run through it. And yeah, that's it. Alright, so tip number two. If you want more accuracy on your W, use your Q first and then your W. Since the enemy is slowed, you will have a better chance of hitting your W, and your Q will also be doing more damage since you rooted them. So remember this combo if you want a more insured W. Now something I forgot to mention when talking about the pros of Swain was his reworked version has better wave clear because of the change coming to his Q. So now if you're wondering about the wave clear combo, Basically, if there's no threat around, you can try and group the melee minions with the range minions and then get a W, and then just cast your Q and R and they should all be dead. 
For next tip, if you're level 1, you can use your E in conjunction with your auto attacks for some pretty nice damage, since your auto attacks are enhanced by 20%. So if you can do more than one auto in that trade, you should be able to come out on top. For the next tip, if you're running away from someone, just drop the Q down like Ziggs' E, and yeah, it's a free getaway. And tip number 6, high mobile laners are good against Swain, because they can easily get out of his Q, so I tend to play a little bit more passive against these type of champions. Until I'm level 6, then yeah, that's where you should be able to shit on them. And honestly, Swain is a relatively easy champion, he doesn't really take too much skill to play, so if you are looking for someone easy to pick up, I definitely recommend him because he's free elo right now. Anyways, that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. In one of my other videos, I asked you guys, what do you do when you're feeding? And I did do this in another video, but here are some of my favorite other comments. And for a chance to be featured in a future video, make sure to comment below, um, what do you think about the rework Swain? You know, I think he's really strong until someone gets grievous wounds, but he's actually still pretty powerful. And if you guys did like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you didn't, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, I am Panzer Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time.